Hey guys, Allie with Tip B. Uh, today we're going to look at Harry Potter, or Lego Harry Potter, years 1 through 4 for iPad and iPhone. I'm going to show you this on the iPad because it's bigger and I think it's a little easier. Just keep in mind that iPad users will have to have 4.2, not so much of an issue now that it was released. Um, so first you're going to tap the screen to begin. Um, I have not played this on the iPad yet, I've been playing it on my iPhone. So we're going to start, I figure this is better, we'll start from the beginning so you guys can kind of see how this works. Um, so you have four game slots here you can choose from. So we'll just go to game slot one, which is empty. This is nice, so then me and Kimmy can each have our own games, or if you have more than one person that uses your iPad, you can each have your own game. So we'll go into that. And this is what the load screens look like. Um, the graphics on the iPad and the graphics on the uh, iPhone 4 are tremendous for this game. I thought they were pretty impressive for a Lego game. Um, so... Once that cuts in, you'll see you have cutscenes here. And it follows the uh, the book and the movies pretty closely. Um, a lot of the music is the same from them, so if you were a fan of, you know, the John Williams scores for the movies, uh, you'll definitely like this game. If you don't want the music, you can go into settings and turn it off. But instead of watching all of these cutscenes, um, if you don't want to watch them, you can double tap the screen, which is nice, and it'll cut through it. Um, the way you're going to navigate your person is you drag your finger in the directions you want the character to move. Um, it's a little weird sometimes, I think, when you're in tight spots. I've gotten stuck on, like, furniture, um, etc. Um, it'll show a little lightning bolt over characters that you need to interact with. So right there, he'll tell me he has a job for me, and he's going to tell me to find some of Dudley's presents. So I'm going to do this one really quick because it's pretty easy. Um, it's going to bring up a summary. I can tap the screen or go back. So I am going to go talk to Dudley because he has a star over his head. And he tells me to find his presence. So then I am going to go and try to find these. So I am going to go up the stairs. And it's going to take me to another part of the house. And Petunia's standing right here. So I'm going to talk to her. And she's found one. So I'm going to go back down the stairs. And I believe right here, you'll see... Um, Items that you can't interact with will show up red. So if I tap that, it tells me no. I'm not quite sure where Dudley went. Because I'm pretty sure at this point you're supposed to find Dudley and then he can move that... Uh, that thing out of the way so then you can get into the other room and get the other present. And you see what I mean by sometimes the controls are a little difficult to maneuver around. Oh, up at the top you can see that I have the option to transfigure into Dudley. My camera was cutting it off and I wasn't looking at that. So right here it gives me the option up here. I can click Dudley and transform into him and push this out of the way. And then I can go in here, and if I want to switch back to Harry, I can tap him. Um, once you unlock more characters, you'll toggle between them. Um, like when you're in Gringotts, you'll need to play as Grip Hook for some stuff, as Hagrid for others. Um, so now you've completed that. And then he tells you to check them out. So you can go over here by the front door and see that you've got a letter. And then it'll cut to another cutscene. And this is typically how the game will go. As you get further, the cutscenes are fewer and far between. Um, you can buy the cutscenes in the store if you'd like to keep them or be able to watch them whenever you'd like. Um, you'll get to Hogwarts. Um, a lot of the ways you're going to do spells is it gives you um, motions, like to do Reducto, it'll tell you to draw circles on the screen. Um, when Guardian Levioso will ask you to do like a triangle type thing. 
Um, you'll learn different spells as you go. When you go to Hogwarts, you'll go to classes, etc. Um, like I said, I really haven't played. I haven't played too much into it on the iPad. I played it on my iPhone, but I figure maybe you know the cutscenes at the beginning and whatnot would have been a little bit better to show you the basic gestures. But um, if you guys have questions or comments, uh, let us know. If you've picked this up on iPhone or iPad, let us know your thoughts. Thanks.